Wherever you are, whether you are in the taxi, 
whether you are eating, whether you are cooking, whether you are at the airport, anywhere you are, please do not think that there is a special place only the church for prayer. You are in prayer because prayer is that link, that network. When there is no network, uh, I put this SIM card also like a mobile uh, so that I can use it for my YouTube and so the network where I am was not uh, there so I was using it only for call but last night my son said let's keep trying yeah, last night it came so with the call the network uh, is there to route and he assured us in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 and uh, Psalms 91 verse 15 that call me and I will ask. He did not say call me in the morning. We have to be quiet and be full. So praise him in the morning at the new time when the sun, sun falls down. Any time, whether you are dying, whether you are in sleep, whether you are dreaming, God is waiting for you. Now, the problem why we are here to people repeating the same uh, topic in day in, day out is how do we pray? What do we pray? What do we pray for? That is all. We, we, we find the prayers are not answered and we, we start complaining. What is this? We have been going to find uh, things Praise prayer center, but I, I, I let me try going to a mouse, uh, not getting what I'm praying for. Uh, let me go to Mbarara, uh, but is there. It is you. It is not the judge, it is not God. There is a method of checking the Israel line, there is a crap. You use a metallic hammer. Then when you hear some sound, you know how ah, the crack is here. So when the technician was hitting, hitting every part, there was a crack. How can the very light you have a crack along the, the whole light? It was the hammer which had the crack. The hammer was the one with the crack. So, when the same thing when you are praying, it is you who determines whether you are praying or the answer. Or not. And uh, that's why we learn nobody knows everything and nobody knows nothing. I keep quoting Michael X. He says, Do not blame the person who does not know what you know. Because there was a time when you yourself also did not know what you know. Beautiful philosophy. You didn't know what you were praying with the other side. And you don't know this here, but did you know it before you knew it? You didn't. It is only God in Jesus and also who, who are uh, omniscient. So we learn from the word of God in the Bible about that prayer leading us to healing specifically for my session. Otherwise, prayer is very wide. We want to see about healing and the power of prayer leading us to heal. Then we, we learn from the church because the church is the mystical body of Christ. What the church teaches us is Jesus himself teaching us. You see that? Then we learn about the saints who have gone to heaven and they have left the makers behind. We have just excited the, 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 the vitamin. They used some methods, and those methods worked for them. And they succeeded to reach the uh, triumphant church. They are in the church, triumphant or victorious church. <coughs> After all, using those methods here of prayer in the military camp, even if this was the way of people fight, you go for study and warfare. We had an army commander here who was killed brutally by a girlfriend in the morning there. 
it was very tough. People were going, they were, they were, they were, they were arranging courses, China, America, where, and then they go and study about how to fight. Then they come back and sit in the offices, and yet for us, we are fighting in the front. He made sure that everybody who has ever studied must go to the front line. Then the officer who were there, they came with right wing, and that is a, a lesson for another day. So, let us see, look at uh, something when you look at the uh, first we know that prayer can be for emotional, physical, and the spiritual benefits. And you know, all of those are within us. We have emotions, we have feelings. And those feelings, we need prayers. The physical, the God gave us this body, the eyes, the word, the legs. Yeah, we need prayers for them. Then that spiritual one is the soul. Which at the death the body rots, but the soul goes to heaven when you qualify for it. So, what does uh, the Old Testament tell us first about the BC healing? We go to Isaiah chapter 35, verse 5 to 8. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 5 to 8. Very beautiful there, because now that is the purpose of our knowing uh, the coming of the Messiah. You will read it yourself that you will make the death here, the dumb will talk, the, the lame will walk, all, all that. You know when we come to a retreat and you not something down like this, now you go home and reflect on what you are heard from here. Otherwise, we just make it a routine. Eh? Where, when is the next uh, retreat at the session? I get calls, uh, messages, uh, where I keep announcing on Radio Maria. Yeah, they are there monthly. But do we benefit from it? Yeah, that is where. So, let's look at a very great story from the Holy Testament which gives us hope, and it is long, so you have to read it on your own. I cannot read it, otherwise it will be short my minutes. There was a man called Hezekiah, and uh, he fell sick. And when you fall sick, there is what is called terminal, terminal illness, where even the doctors, the, those who are here, because I, I from the reliable sources. The, the doctor is the one who told me where well, once a patient reaches that stage, that stage is declared hopelessly stage. I learned about it when we had our member here, she called Sharon, she was staying near our brother. And uh, she was terminally ill. I got Father Raphael to go and make the, 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 the prayers for her departure. And he just told me that this one is going to be there. When we came back shortly after that, she died. So the doctor told me that, no, we have already declared her a oppressive stage. You cannot do anything apart from now, God. So Hezekiah had reached that stage. When you read that beautiful story of second kings, chapter. 20, verse 5 to 6. Second Kings, chapter 20, verse 5 to 6. So in, in summary is that he knew now he's dying. And uh, people don't want to die, especially when they, they happen to be here finish that, that right span where you cannot see, you cannot hear, you remember Isaac when he called him. His children, he could not see. He was now already dead, but he wanted to give the blessing. You know, that 
But when you are sick, uh, even at my sixth age, and then I am declared a hopeless state, I start to imagine a lot of things, and then that's when my God comes in. Very, very, you know, there's a way of very honest to me, even Jesus himself, when he was in the garden of the Testament, he prayed honestly. Why? Because he was wicked, the flesh was weak. He was sweating blood, sweating water. No energy at all, but the spirit was willing. And he prayed honestly with Father. So the same thing as here was told by Isaiah the prophet that your days are over now. The Lord says, You are to die. You are no longer going to live. Uh, you know, sometimes in the hospital, the doctors don't tell you directly that you are in a hopeless state. Uh, they tell me the, the relative. I had a, a friend of Nan Kanti right now in Mulago. So when I went to visit him, it was a cancer. I told the doctor, I the doctor said, you know, we are still carrying out some tests. The man was dying. He died alone. It's not their work to start discouraging him. So, after telling Ezekiel like that, he turned to the wall. I like that beautiful cry to God. You will enjoy that story in the, in the Bible here. He cried at least to have an extension of some years. Some people have been. Right in the government uh, to go in the way I was working in the Air Force. People are coming back, give me some two years I work. I'm aching because when you come out of the job, it is a death warrant. Very many of my colleagues have died. So when one was trying to come back, and then they were still considering it easy. Application and he died. Others really knew that they are also going to die. So they were free to come back. But those people die in the night. And that is done for another day. So it's a year to run. And the God is only inside the prophet. I have heard his prayers. And indeed, I am explaining his life. Another 15 years. I'm now 68, and the God tells me from the whole place stage where the, the doctors know I'm, I'm, I'm dying that, that thing week, and He gives me 15 years. 15 plus 68 is how many years? No mathematician. I just natural It is what? <laughs> Yes. Eight Really, if I die at eight thirty, shall I go pain here? When people are dying at thirty, at twenty, and for now he needs me to be. And when he needs me to be and I'm going to die at eight thirty, do I again cry that that is another fifteen? The other time you you are going to be Hey, are you the only one to stay in this world? He's giving you fifteen. To put your life in order. Maybe I was crying that now I have no land in this day and in the good. Uh, in this two, three, three, and they are going also to die in the street. Yeah, nobody is going to, to look up. Yeah, that's what God is considering. The life you are applying for is should be useful. So he gave him another 60, I mean, 15 years. That one is a lesson for us. Our life does not depend on the doctors. We can see the quotes I will give you to go under it. It does not depend on the medicine you are using. It does not depend on anything. Our life depends on God. You can reverse anything which they have declared on you that you, you are now dying. The one who was the is the last, the last. 
Okay, that one is the homework for you to go and, uh, and uh, enjoy. Then we have another story from the same Bible or the Testament, actually the same chapter, Second uh, Kings chapter 5. You read at your own convenience, please. I don't know whether a Catholic can be can call himself or has a Catholic without a Bible in the house. I don't know. That one is between you and God. When you read this story after not in it down and you meditate on it, you will not be the same. I'm sure it is. Some of us have come from very far, but after reading this, here is the man who does the story, the second thing is you read in chapter 5. It is also very long, but in summary, we are dealing with him and the which healing. We are not dealing with the healing of doctors, rabbis, so we are dealing with the healing where God intervenes. If God intervenes, and you have seen it in the New Testament, what Jesus was doing, as we have already uh, started with it in Isaiah 35, just by verse 5 to 8, he will make the lame walk in mind, somebody who is already lame. So, Naman was an army commander in Syria. And the disease does not spare any, any, any dignitary of the highest uh, caliber in the whole world. No. Even the president, the, the, the late president of America, Bruce Bell, he was a very healthy president during the Second World War. He was the president of America. But he was attacked by polio. A president attacked by polio, he ruled America for the remaining times on a wheelchair. A president. So when I talk of Naman being an army commander, you don't get surprised. And the commander can also get a, a, a disease like that. Bruce very good that the polio and is the only American president who ruled beyond two terms. Why? The war was going on, the Second World War, so they could not carry out the elections, the campaigns and voting. So he had to become you on a wheelchair. So that man got leprosy. Now, after getting leprosy, he's the boss. And uh, there the, the was a, a house guard of his and then she told the, the, the wife that there is a, a prophet in Israel. Remember, I'm talking about Syria. In Israel, who cures people? Who heals people? If my boss can go to me. Then the wife told him. Then he told him, he supposed the king. The king wrote a letter to the king of Israel. And then Naman went with all the sports with a, a lot of money. Money does not heal people. Whether you are flown to India, whether you are flown to the best hospitals in the whole world, with all your money, it is not money to be heals. Unless God intervenes in that healing. So when they reach there, they are like, big is the money.
I'm grinding at the door of God. And he uncommanded. And he uncommanded. He's like a president, can be a president any time. To go and speak with him, himself, and then he started beating himself in the water. What, what is this? He quarreled, he said, when there are no rivers where I came from, let's go back. They're, they're, they're telling them they're going to escort. But one of the escorts, and when I'm talking slow like this, you must know that God can even pass through your house, your house, your chamber. God uses those who will be listening to me on me on Friday. I got inspired and get my topic. So my topic will be how God changes bad things to good The things which are negative, negative, you don't even expect is what God uses. That's how God works. So, one of them told him, uh, the, 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 the boss, he said, I found him. Really, if he had told you to do even something else, like they would not you have done it for the sake of just fulfilling his instruction. I thank you, please. You do what he has told you. There are commanders who can listen. When you listen to a house boy, you listen to a chamber boy, it means you are really intelligent. Because there's nobody who is useless in this world. Me, when I reach here, <coughs> in, 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 in this prayer center, the person who comes to welcome me, when I'm going to pack my car with a very bright smile, is none other than Richard. And since I saw Richard sitting here, I've never seen him change his clothes. I don't know how they are washed by the Holy Spirit. I don't know. Richard said, I found it. Oh, we are glad to see you. God loves you. Hmm? You have 500. Then I feel guilty. Only 500. That will be a topic for another day. <laughs> so, now man, he accepted when he gave himself in the, in the, in the, in the river of Jordan so many times. The reference to when the, the skin became as tender as a baby and he remember the story of Job, how he, the, the skin became as tender as that of a baby. And he was so, you, you know now you get humbled, you get humiliated, you get embarrassed. What if I refuse it? It has healed you and you had no other alternative. So, he was giving the money, you know, the, the big people have money to Elisha. Elisha said, I don't want any of your money. And you see how it is in the Bible? Is it Matthew chapter 10, verse 8? Or 5, 10, you know, I do not put a crime in this. Verse 10, he said, shouting in this. He said, free you are God. Freely give. Elisha refused the money. Now you will uh, enjoy the story as you read it because one of uh, the people of, uh, of Elisha ran after him. He said, Ah, uh -huh. he says he could bring that man from the food for himself. And that's why how the corruption comes in the world. Then when he came to Elisha, Elisha said, You think I was not there? You see a prophet. When you were getting that money from Nama, the disease which attacked Nama, that leprosy, I cast you, you get it right now, and you got the leprosy. So when you do this corruption, be ready, there is a bank of fire, because you have taken the money of the patient house. You will be taken to Lucira, and some of them die in Lucira. And you will report me that I talked about it. Okay? So, what do we learn from there? Everything we are centered upon God. God completely. And there, the church tells us 
whom we should do ask for our intercessors. They are intercessor prayers. Where you are not praying for yourself, but you are praying for another. Where those who are already indicated their saints, the church has identified those ones whom you can pray through and you will get what you want. That one is for what? That one standing there is the patron saint of what? Padua. Yeah? I don't hear anything. Let's continue. You, some of you fear to give an answer because you think it is the wrong answer. Who does not know Saint Andrew? Who is the patron saint of what? Yes. So now here I want to position you for healing purposes. Most of us have got these illnesses in our families, in our family tree, but whom are you praying? Well, we are only praying uh, the, 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 the usual prayers, but the church has told us when you ask for the intercession of this saint for this particular disease, problem, or bondage, yes, that's why it was even canonized. So, cancer. The, the, the patron saint for intercession is called Saint Perry Queen. That's the day for cancer. So, when you are praying, you can make all other prayers, but make it in an open. You are old, even if you don't get it, but in this day, the technology can download it. Said, I want it of an open. Perry Queen, Perry Queen for my mother who is suffering from breast cancer. Ah, uh, the eyes. Eye problem, glasses, what, coma, you pray through Saint Lucy. That is the battle set for the eye problem. Mental, mental illness. You pray through Saint Cupertino, Joseph Cupertino, the, 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 the flying priest, I have been telling you the, the, the priest who could fly up the old way in the Mass is a, a pardon set of people with mental illness and uh, Saint Daphne. Saint Daphne, both of them. For malaria, you pray through Saint Francis Xavier Cabrin. Saint Francis Xavier Cabrin. Eclipse. You pray through Saint Valentine. People just say only oh, yeah, enjoy Valentine Day. They don't know it is a patron saint of the blips, the blips. The throaty problems, even they have been telling us in the, in the masses there, uh, those who are, when it is easy, this day, come, put the cross on your throat. The throaty problem is called Saint Blaise, B L A I S P. Stomachal problems. You pray through Saint Timon. Arthritis. Who can show me the church? The saint for arthritis. Arthritis is who? Okay. Happy feast. Happy feast of today. But on the set of arthritis, he suffered from it. You know, the church is inspired by the Holy Spirit. If the, that saint had it up to the time he died, they said, now he should stand for us. So said the, he said, the Paul, barrenness, 10 years you are not producing, and yet the doctors check, they don't find any problem. Pray through Saint Anton of Padua. So it's not only for lost properties, it's also for badness. Drunkenness. When I mean drunkenness, I mean someone who is in the body. He is, he, you, they, they have tried to advise him, counsel him. No, he is in the bondage of the devil. The saint is that one who can break that bondage of drunkenness. That is Saint Matthias. Matthias and Saint Matthew Talibot. I 
knew more about the monthly tax report because he was a Franco. But the mother, whenever he would get the salary, he gives the mother so much money. Then he drinks the whole money, the whole salary, until he finishes that's when he puts it back to the, to the factory where he was working. The mother was using that money, he was giving her to go and make a masturbation for his drunkenness and uh, he got delivered. Now he's in the magic teleport from Northern Ireland. Prostitution. People think that it is enjoyment. No. These are girls who are in bondage. It is, I was sleeping with 50 men in a day and you think they are enjoying it. It is just money now, it is a bondage. A real bondage. One time I was coming from uh, Serena at the hotel for our conference of is a Swiss guy, the nutritional product. Hey. So I was walking to the back, and so guy by the way, I said, oh, who are these? I said, these are prostitutes. Then the car will come, they will combine on the, on the car, then you want them to the let the activity show. Cyprian was passing, then he told the driver, please, please stop, I want to talk to this car, Cyprian, they can't be suffering here, and they need me to talk to them. The driver said, Please, please don't get out the paparazzi with the photograph and write the newspapers that it. even the bishop was negotiating. And he listened to the driver. It would have come on the big headline that the bishop in his castle was also negotiating. And that is how his papers said. Okay, so that's why you pray through St. Nicholas. Then the back of pain, it does not go, it is just permanent on you. Yeah. You don't know the saint whom you are supposed to ask for intercession back pain. It's called Saint Gemma, G E W M A. Blindness, Saint Lucy of Syracuse. Deafness, Death, Saint Louis. Speech impairment, Dumb, Saint Anthony. Then the demoniacs, said Bruno. Okay, just a few. You want to research and find every problem which you have with your health, there is a saint in the church has allocated that problem too. So we know that the apostles were with Jesus and uh, Jesus gave them the powers. Even they could come back and, and tell Jesus, Master, hey, even demons obeyed us. Even we saw Satan falling, they did. Jesus said, Do not be excited because the demons are obeying you. Rather be happy that your names are written in the book of life. Because the people on the earth, Look at me, show me they have the, the, the spiritual myopia that go into you like that. You, you show the sightedness with the things which happen here, here, forgetting that eternal life is what we are heading for. So you can see that the apostles getting excited about commanding the demons. Oh, I think as I told you before, sometimes that even the God, even the God can block you somewhere to, to test you. So the, the man had a boy who was a demon possessed. He did not go to Jesus. I think he had seen the, the apostles uh, delivered many. They gave them to give his boy to the apostles. He said he falls in the water and they were under fire and they hear the people. They try they nothing. Until he said, ah, let me go to the master himself. So he took and he reported. He said, I took to your disciples, your apostles, but they could not. So Jesus said, You felt this nation for how long shall I be with you? Bring the boy here. How long have you to be with, me, with him? Ah, so he went to the field. You believe, he said, you need to help my unbelief. So he commanded, Jesus commanded, and the, 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 the demon 
left the boy, he was brought pregnant. You know, the demon has not go easily. As it rests on the complete. That's why some people in the Bible foundation when there are so much more things they say the demon, I mean the evil spirit and the evil spirit uh, fighting each other. I, I don't know, I have no authority over that. Yeah, we learn about that one another day. So the, the, when the boy became okay in the evening, when you go to Israel, you will find a very small room like this. That is where after they have done their missionary work with Jesus, that in the evening that's where they see planning for the following day. A very, very remarkable place. Not in uh, those mushrooms we are sleeping in. So they ask, they ask them, how come for us we do not die to drive out that demon from that boy? Said, mm -hmm. You see, Jesus even said it from being frank. He said that one. It needed faith, prayer, and a fasting. So, if we are having prayer for our problems of health or what, and we see it is not succeeding, do we include fasting or we don't? Jesus himself said that one needed faith, prayer, and fasting. For us to learn, read it in Matthew chapter 17, verse 14 to 20. Matthew chapter 17, verse 14 to 20. I told you about the uh, intercession and everything. For you, you are okay, but you have a family member who is not okay. It is your duty. For that we have a family member, where do we find that? We find that in James, the letter of James chapter 5, verse 14. <coughs> James chapter 5, verse 14, it tells us that a family member, is a, you are a family member, see, call the church elders, don't call the witch doctors, call the church elders, they know. All the things which I'm talking about, which is in the which is part of the prayer, and all those sacraments, may I have confessions, maybe there's something disturbing this family member, just call the church elders. But again, don't call the church elders. Then in the evening at night, you are bringing the witch That is the controversy. The evil spirit is very humble. He says, okay. Trust me, the other one, me and going out, you find the person becoming worse. So, another good prayer, which I will never forget because the story of the decision in Nairobi came and gave it to me when I was also in the near your critical man, is Mark chapter 11, verse 24. That when you pray, you believe. That what you are praying for, you have already caught it, and that it will be yours. That is Mark 11 24. Then the other verses where Jesus takes us, because if we are praying for something to be healed, Mark, uh, sorry, sorry, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, is very common here. That he ask, seek, no. That is Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. So we should have intercessory prayers for this. Intercessory prayers are so powerful for the healing of our people. And of all God, we intensify our prayers. The Catholic Church has given us this menu, which is up to us. To just look at the menu, say, hey, I've told you, you can even make a novena to the other side for that case. So, a novena is a 90 day prayer, is so powerful. There is even the one for advantages that some pray. That one is for emergency, it is nine hours. If you make it nine hours, maybe you are. You are, you are, you are, your family member is undergoing, going to undergo an operation, and you, you, 
we say don't get in the way when they you, you, you come out of it. I have known of uh, two who have become more out of the, 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 the operation they did. One was a uh, captain uh, with the, our pilot uh, who used to play with us, but I think now he has been transferred. He had got a motor, uh, 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 an accident with his motorcycle here, so he was admitted in another cell. Then the other captain had got a motor accident, he was also admitted. Now, they were going to the theater for the operation. So the, the captain went first. And the captain told, told this, uh, our family member here, or I don't know whether it's now a major or a kind of He told him, hey, comrade, uh, me and my they are taking me, and uh, we shall see who you or me will survive. These ones we talk sometimes in the year. He, 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 he didn't come out. He died, he died in the operation. So the emergency one is for if, if an is of break, it is a nine hour novena. Because novena means nine. It can be nine days or nine hours. So when you start it at seven, you must say the second prayer at eight. At nine. Don't say at seven, then again you say at eight thirty, then again you jump nine twenty. No. Because it is so systematic, the Catholic Church is so organized that you should not break. And that person will come out nine hours. But otherwise, you can make the one of nine days. So the second one was our big pilot. Again, our member here is listed him in Kampala International Hospital. When he entered the, the theater, he didn't come out. And he find out who was in the seat and very healthy. So, this is our duty, intercessory, intercessory uh, prayers. No, very, very, very powerful. Then, the Rosary of our mother Mary. Very powerful prayer for. Leading us to healing. Immediately, your family member has got a problem, include him in the prayer of the rosary throughout. And I don't think that when you pray, uh, in the person we, because we have seen in Amman, he got healed, we have seen in Ezekiel, the life was extended. It is God who decides. Maybe that is how he is going to heaven. So don't complain that I made a novel, but the person did not know you have saved his soul. You see, the spiritual things are not easy to understand for us. We want the tangible things to see that we are praying now. The leprosy has gone right in Ah, uh -uh, it is God who decides. He won't see him. He knows that if he, he leaves him and uh, he has. Uh, Got him, ah, there's a very big sin which is making him to go to hell waiting for him. So, just say, say that it was God's will for me, and he prayed and did it to God. And Father Xavier, here who built this house, told us that in India, a man lost his baby, and uh, he was a real Catholic. He got the baby's body, lifted it up, and said, God, my Lord, you have taken my baby, but I will not stop glorifying you one day. And the way that the is. But others, one was in Makerere, you remember Makerere University, students were being gunned down until they started building a big wall around, which again collapsed to two billion children. <laughs> so, a boy was shot. And then the, the, the girl who was also short another day was of a certain man who was working in the narrow here. I, I, I know this paper is in court what they see and hear. So the father of the boy, when he went to collect the body, he said, From today, I don't want to hear anything about God. There is no God. If there is God, how could he leave my son to die under such circumstances? But the one of the daughter, he was also caught in the ministry. He generally said, Hey, wait, you order, you want to say. 
the one of the daughter said of Naroki. He said, I have been the cautioning my daughter ever since about her character. And she will not listen to me. And this is how she has died. I just need everything to go. There is nobody I can connect and do the body of this. Why do you really blame God for your uh, okay? So the rosary, then the mass, mass for the sick also there. Okay, let's look at the final uh, verses, especially those who are writing out the verse law. Then you go and meditate the on them there. Verses which are for our prayers leading us to the healing of ourselves, all our family members, all anyone you are praying for. James chapter 5 verse 16. The end of James chapter 5 verse 16 says, Confess your sins to each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. You see, you must first be righteous in order to, for the, your prayer to be powerful and effective. Then Psalms 34 verse 18. Says, the Lord is close to the broken hearted and the same to those who are crushed in spirit. That is Psalm 34, verse 18. Then in the book of Wisdom, chapter 16, verse 12, it says, It wasn't any heart or ointment. That healed them, but you are one alone, Lord, which, will, which heals everything. That's the one I told you earlier. Wisdom is still It does not mean that you should not use the house. It, you should not uh, go to the hospital as some churches say that uh, people should not get medicine. They should not even get education. They, uh, they, they were dying even in the churches. They are asking someone in the Barara there, the pastor who was praying for somebody who died in the, in, the, in the church, that you don't take any medicine. No, wisdom is saying it is not your, it's not the heart or ointment, but you are one. Because the one goes through that, that, that heart, you must get treatment. Our priests have been going for treatment. You could see Father Anton very healthy, he could tell you that his specialist he was always going to, and why they even made it, don't see the things there for him to do exercise, praying either this tennis or whatever. You can look, it is the spirit, okay? The, that is the uh, what we see down there. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Jeremiah 17, 14 says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Don't be scared about being a leader in Mulago or in the clinic. When you are still with the senses and you are being taken to admission, ask your wife or ask your husband, have you carried my Bible? And when you have the Bible, and you have highlighted these verses. Recite while you are waiting for them. Like this one. Heal me, Lord. It's in the Bible. You don't just read the book of numbers and then read another book of I don't know what. Read for your situation, the current situation you are in. You are admitted the Bible should be by the bedside. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. Say, but I will restore you to heaven and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. It's the one who God himself talking. So why can we be strengthened? They are all encouraging verses. The first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verse 24. 
He himself bore our sins and in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. By his wounds you have been healed. Then Psalms 107, verse 20 to 21, says this. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. That is Psalm 107, verse 20 to 21. Then the last one for today is Psalm 30, verse 20, verse 2. Lord my God, I call to you for help, and you will heal me. Perfect. Even if you die, you are dying with the word of God to heal. By the time the priest comes to absorb your sins, you just go to heaven, not even the purgatory, because you have confessed to all, all of the, the sins. You go to heaven. And that is how we are going to learn in this retreat that the dying with the ends, all of us should be energized spiritually. And that the piece of advice is that. When somebody is sick and somebody has requested you to pray with him or her, do not refuse and say, ah, ah, it is a priest. No. Who wish you to pray? The priest may not be allowed. I come from a mission called uh, where there are only two priests. By the time they called me there, there were only two priests for 64. Sub-parishes. I said, Father, what are you talking How about the Mass on Sunday? He said, the Catholics just say prayers. Say your prayer one time more. Sister Tinka, she was teaching mathematics in Nadingo. My daughter was there, that's how I came to know her. She ran to me at 3 a.m. Captain, wake up. I said, you want your sister? That's why I need my telephone. I don't switch off. 24 hours it is called. Said my mother, and she was there, I had seen the mother. The mother was 90, beyond 95. Was very, very old. Said my mother is dying right now in my room. Please join me later. as said say the prayers, she's dying. We recited the prayers on phone. Prayer on pray, 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 pray. After, I think, 10 minutes, he, she ran back and said, yeah. Thank you for the prayer she has now died. You have prayed. So 